this is one that I actually get asked quite a lot. The answer is going to differ for everyone that you ask. Every every trans person has their own experience. But for me personally, it's been my whole life. My earliest memories were of, of gender dysphoria I, I've known ever since I was little, like three years old. Some people, they don't really realize until later in life. It, it's different for everyone. I didn't really know that that it was a thing that I could do until I was in, you know, late teens. And then I didn't even know if it was something I could take seriously until like I was like 20. Before that, it was all really negative and, and really um, just people making fun of it in the media and stuff. It was always a joke. I never really thought that it was a real thing. But that's definitely something that I, I learned later in life, but I knew all along that I was different and I knew that there was always this difference with me. <laughs> This is another one that I get asked a lot. I guess I can understand where it's coming from, but at the same time, you have to remember that um, that gender identity and sexuality are completely different things. They're not connected. Some people, they go through a transition and their sexual orientation does not change. Some people, uh, maybe once they accept their gender identity, then they'll question their sexual orientation. They'll accept that about themselves and, they might ch and it might change, or at least what they've told you might change. They may have felt that way all along, but they've, they're kind of coming out in two ways, I guess. And everyone is different and everyone's going to have a different answer to that question. For me personally, no, nothing really changed. I identify most comfortably as pansexual. And it's going to vary from person to person. Some people, it might change. Some people, it won't. Okay, so this is another one that's, um, it's kind of hard to, de to decipher someone's meaning necessarily. When someone asks me, what does it feel like to be trans? For me, it doesn't really feel any different. Like I, like I said before, I, I've felt this way my whole life. I'm not changing anything. I'm just kind of expressing who I've always been. That said, it certainly feels very liberating. It feels really good. It feels amazing. My life as hard as it can be now with the discrimination and everything is a million times better than it was before without living as that person what does it feel like it feels amazing i feel lighter i feel happier i feel better than i felt in, in my whole life like i'm like i'm not i'm not angry all the time anymore which i was before i've been told i'm nicer to be around you know i definitely get uh you know more moody since being on hrt and everything uh, but that's completely normal it feels good to finally get to be yourself and anyone who has to to come out in, in any way as trans or just as as any member of the lgbt uh, community will, will tell you the same thing it feels good to finally be yourself this question this is a question you should never ever ask someone not just anyone who's transgender, just anyone who has ever changed their name at all. If they've changed their name, they have their reasons for doing it. You don't need to know what their old name was. You don't. If this person in particular feels comfortable sharing and offering that information to you, you should feel privileged, but you don't ask someone that. And it's the same thing with like old, fi old pictures. You don't need to know. It's not important. The only name that you need to know is the name that they've chosen to give you. Please respect someone's desire to keep their past in the past. Again, this is another question that's, it's not important unless you're in an intimate situation with this person. It's kind of the same thing as asking some, it, well, it basically is. It's you're asking wh what the person's genitals are. And that's just not a question that's ever okay to ask anybody. And it's not important unless you're about to get intimate with this person. There's no reason for you to know. It's rude. It's invasive. Frankly, it's kind of weird. You have this weird obsession with what's between our legs. <laughs> This one isn't one that I have personally been asked a lot, but it is one that I have some friends who've been asked a lot. And it's not just anyone who's you know, transgender. It's it's really anyone who is LGBT at all. Again, it's kind of a weird question to ask. Well, there's not as many trans people in a community as there are um, cisgender people. Doesn't mean we all know each other. Just because I'm transgender does not mean I know every single transgender person on the planet. No, I probably don't know this person you're talking about. <laughs> This is one that I get more from other trans people. It's kind of hard to describe. The effects of HRT are different from person to person. I mean, everyone's going to kind of feel different things at different times. There are some things that will be 
generally the same. For me, I haven't really been on them long enough to know notice a lot of different changes. I have noticed some changes though, um, and they've all been positive. I've, I've, I've quite liked the changes that have happened. So what's it like? It's hard to describe. It's it's kind of like going through puberty again. I've been on it for, for seven or eight months by the time I make this video. Yeah, I've noticed definitely, especially emotionally, a lot of changes, a lot more emotional, I'm feeling emotions deeper. I'm definitely more of an emotional roller coaster lately, which, uh, which makes me feel kind of like I'm 14 again. Can be kind of crazy, wacky for me to deal with, and I know the people in my life kind of have to deal with that too, so I apologize everybody. For most people, they start noticing most of the big changes take a year or two to, to kick in, but they will definitely notice some changes after a few months. Some of the changes that I experienced did happen within like a month, even a little bit less, but I've definitely noticed them within the within this time period. So, I mean, it's definitely good, and I would definitely not want to go back. This is somewhere that I'm really happy that I am right now, and I'm, I'm de I know that I'm very lucky and very blessed to be here because a lot of people don't get to get here. <laughs> This one kind of ties in to the one before. That is a tricky question to answer because it's going to be different, completely different depending on where you live. I have no idea on how it's done even in other parts of Canada, let alone how it's done in, in the US or in the UK or anywhere else in the world. All I know is that for me personally, living in Alberta, it was, you know, I went to my general physician and he referred me to a psychiatrist in Edmonton and there was like an 18 month waiting list to get in to see this guy. I got in after like about eight months and then he referred me to an endocrinologist and that took another couple of months but he was able to start me on some stuff. So how do you start on hormones? It's going to be completely different depending on where you live. I guess look it up for your area or talk to your doctor because your doctor should know where to send you to start all that. There are resources online and then there will also be your doctor that you can talk to if you have, especially if you have a doctor that you know and, and like and trust. This is a kind of a touchy issue and I can, I can understand your desire to do this, but I don't recommend it. It is something that should be carefully monitored by you and your doctor. It can cause problems. It can cause some pretty serious problems. FTM transitions with testosterone. If you take too high, high a dose, it's dangerous and i would definitely not self-medicate uh, if you can go the the route through your doctor go through a, someone who knows what they're doing who can prescribe you something they know what's healthy for you what's good for you i i personally do not recommend self-medicating unless there's absolutely nothing else you can do and i can completely understand the feeling the that desperate feeling of desperately wanting to start it but i definitely recommend going the legitimate route because it's going to be better for yourself in the long run <laughs> get uh, a few different variations of this one a lot. Some people are telling me that I should work on it and some people are asking tips and tricks and whatnot. All I can tell you, there's lots of stuff here on YouTube, videos, tutorials. I've looked at some myself. It is something that I am working on, but at the same time, I honestly don't have a big problem with my voice. While I, I would love for it to be a little bit higher, it is actually a lot higher than it was even last year and that's just through constantly working at it and talking a little bit higher to the people who tell me that my voice is too deep for me to be like a girl i'm kind of like suck on that i don't care i'm comfortable with myself and my identity and i don't need your validation don't care if you think my voice is too deep you don't have to watch my videos and listen to my voice this is me this is who i am i'm not trying to change myself i'm trying to love myself if you're trying to stop me from doing that get lost i don't need you <laughs> Okay, this is another huge one because I know from personal experience that when things happen and the wrong pronouns get used or the wrong name get, gets used, it can completely crash your day. Sometimes, you know, if people use the wrong stuff, it can immediately ruin my day and I'll be in a horrible place for the rest of my day. And that ties into my anxiety, you know, depression and, and like social anxiety, all these kinds of things that I wrestle with on a daily basis. When things go wrong, I kind of get overwhelmed pretty easily. The most important thing to remember is that if somebody is transgender or if they just in general have a preference for pronouns because some people can have different identities without being transgender. I've met people who prefer different pronouns without doing any kind of an actual transition. It, it, there are all kinds of people out there with all kinds of identities and they're all valid and they're all important and it's it's important to respect people with that. So if somebody tells you the pronouns they want you to use, it is vitally important to use them. Whatever name they want to go by, whatever pronouns they want to go by, I cannot stress how important it is to make sure that you use those name and, and pronouns correctly. If you're unsure, ask 
seriously ask 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 we won't get mad at you if you ask us in fact it's probably going to make us feel really happy and we'll tell you and then everyone's happy you'll know we'll know no one's getting mad at each other no one's feeling horrible everyone feels happy it's the best way to go if you're unsure ask someone when people use the proper pronoun it can completely turn your day around and make you happy make you so much happier you can take a crappy day and make it infinitely better i've had times like that where i was feeling horrible and i was at a restaurant with friends and the waitress came over and addressed me correctly and it just instantly put me into the best mood ever i don't know if anyone else can relate to that i certainly can so it goes both ways it's just really really important to help people feel comfortable help people feel happy because everyone wants to be happy it's just it's so 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 important to make sure that you make people people feel comfortable and and that that's all there is to it all right so that's the end of my first q a video thank you guys so much for watching if you have any suggestions for more questions that i can answer in the future um, go ahead and leave them in the comments below i'll keep an eye out and uh hopefully i'll get the next q a video done and up in the next couple weeks depends on how quickly i get questions in or you know, if I get any more crazy weird questions from people outside of YouTube. So yeah, I'll uh, see you guys next time. Bye.